What do you need to know while backpacking and hiking in Grand Teton National Park in the early summer of 2024? Right now, it's the first week of June and I'm at the Craig Thomas Visitor Center here. Beautiful location, but as you can see behind me, the snow is still down to 8,000 feet. The snow in Cascade Canyon is open to the forks and then that's it. Everything is loaded with snow. However, people going to Delta Lake, especially a lot of people who have seen it on social media, on TikTok and Instagram, there have been multiple instances of torn shoulder, broken ankle, people getting lost and getting hurt. The trail to Delta Lake is unofficial and by the end you go across the rock field and you go up that steep part, it is crazy steep. Do not underestimate it, it's a big deal because being unofficial, there are no switchbacks. It's just a sort of crawling thing. Delta Lake is super cool, but people that catch it on Instagram, they think, oh yeah, no problem, I'll go up there. Don't think you're going to go into the deep back country without snow until late June, if not early July in Grand Teton. I know people come from other parts of the country and world thinking, oh, it's the mountains. I live in North Carolina. I've been to the Great Smokies. I live in New Hampshire, whatever. Do not underestimate the Tetons. They are very severe. I wrote the Jackson Hole Hiking Guide. I have literally hiked every trail in the valley. I spent an entire summer, one summer, doing over 500 miles to update my hiking book. And I cannot emphasize enough the strength and severity of how wild the Tetons can be. Just because you see it on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or wherever, please do not underestimate the power and risk that you're going to go early season. There's this much snow and it's at about 8,500 feet. We're at 6,400 feet right now. I don't know what that is in meters, but you know, th this is what you need to know. But I just spoke with one of the backcountry rangers. There is a Dutch group that tried to hike up Delta Lake and the ranger, there was a ranger, backcountry ranger there. And this ranger had to filter water for this, it's like 16 hikers filter water for them to give them water because they literally tried to hike up to Delta Lake with no water. That's a wild underestimation. The altitude here is pretty high. Going up to Delta is 8,500. I can't remember the exact elevation at Delta Lake, but it's way up there. And 16 people had no water. So this ranger, I mean, that's the thing about the U.S. Park Service and the rangers. They really do a good job of this. I don't work for them. I have no association. I'm just telling you this experience. Another person broke their ankle, another tore their shoulder. I mean, and it's already like June, what is today, June 4th or 3rd, something like that. So please, if you're going to come to the Tetons and you want to go to Alaska Basin, and do the Teton Crest Trail or anything like that, wait till like early July. Don't come so early because the snowpack is going to be hard to deal with. It has already been super busy. Now also, the Park Service has changed the permitting system to where it is a $20 flat fee, but you have to pay $7 per night per person. One of the rangers just told me that she set up a permit for people to go from Bradley to Taggart to Phelps and on the Valley Trail and all the way back up. Their permit for a couple people was $200. It used to just be a flat fee of 35 bucks. You paid it and you're done. You can buy one third of the permits online. And then the two thirds of the permit are walk up only. You can only get the permit and at most one day in advance. You cannot show up a week before and get the permit. I was warned too, a lot of people lie saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna go tomorrow or the next day and then they lie and they get it way in advance or whatever. If you get busted, they will arrest you. They will fine you, they will well, they arrest you. They're gonna fine you and they're gonna make you leave. They will escort you out. So hiking in Tetons 2024 sounds like a little bit of an adventure this year, especially because the snow is so low. Two weeks ago, you could have still skied on Snow King and people are still skiing in the glaciers and on like a 25 short. So please, if you're coming out to Grand Teton National Park this summer, be aware the snowpack is really low right now. People have already get, gotten hurt. Plan way in advance. This morning, uh, first week of June, <clears throat> the park gate opened and people were able to get in the visitor center. And for the first hour and a half, they did permits. It was a line at the door. I don't know what it is about how many more people are coming to Grand Teton and probably Yellowstone this year, but be prepared for crowds, crowding, and low snowpack 
or low elevation snowpack, meaning the snow is going to hang on for a long time. Please be safe out there. Check out my book, Jackson Hole Hiking Guide. Enjoy your adventure this year.